Dwarven Forge has become a collective of passionate artists that are all gamers, gamers and artists that just love miniatures and love gaming and love their work. It's just grown into this uh, wonderful creative laboratory. The devil's in the details! <laughs> so this hellscape started originally as part of Cavern Steep. When we were exploring the underground, we were like, what are the things that are down there? And of course, lava, magma, and even an underworld was clearly part of that. It's taking the caves and, and upping the danger to 10. Lava is something that appears in many different textures, and a lot it depends on the speed it's moving and how fast it's cooling and exactly what kind of rock is melted and so on and so forth. Just the way lava flows over itself as it's starting to harden, it's it's a little different than anything else. It can move very fast and then very slowly, and you know it can change very dramatically very quickly. Uh, you get a lot of different kinds of texture. And I think particularly having that combined with lighting, which we'll be adding to it, should be quite, quite spectacular, really. When we did the painted versions of the Kickstarter 2 caverns with the lava, it worked for what it was, but it really didn't give you that sense of heat, that sense of just raw power of Earth. That's what we're bringing with the new lava sculpts. Any sort of still sculpture, to have it look like it's moving is always a challenge. The way that I think about it is that you're sculpting those in-between moments before things have settled one way or the other. One of the guiding principles that we tried to follow was to make everything sharp, like literally sharp, that like if I touch it while sculpting in the wrong place that I actually stab my fingers. The Lamore pit, I put a lot of just like tortured hands and faces. You can see this one almost as though the, the radius and the ulna have switched places and twist around, because we really want to capture that beautiful and tortured feeling. Once the sculpt is finished, the next step is to mold them. Once I mold it up, it's time for me to cast the piece. I feel like a mad scientist. <laughs> In Hellscape, we decided to go with a translucent yellow dwarfenite that had a lot of steps in figuring out what the optimal color for it was. Here are some of the various casting colors that I had to go through to land on the final thing. Like it also was a working with Aaron a lot when she was painting up pieces and at some point she wanted me to try like brand new colors. We ended up going back to what we had originally, like with a new paint. Every failure is a step towards success. Yeah, I think this paint scheme is actually the longest time that I've had to work on a paint scheme. And I definitely tried a lot of different things. I'd say like three to four like different versions, but there were a lot of iterations. The color palette for Hell was interesting to develop because I was initially experimenting with a really dark palette, but then a lot of the main environmental pieces have a lot of dark areas, so I wanted to pull some brighter colors that still give a hellish vibe. So it's kind of like a disturbing green bonish color with a metallic red uh, alongside a kind of black backdrop. It's scary and almost disturbing, but you can't look away. It has you captured by the, by the throat. When I saw the illumination for the first time, I was shocked. It, it just looks so cool. It added another like element that I could run with that I knew was gonna be special. One of the key features of the whole thing is light. Lava glows everywhere. So originally we tried embedded LEDs. That was gonna be too expensive. It was too concentrated. We wanted it to be diffused. So after an enormous amount of experimentation, we got to these DF light panels, which would allow us to light a whole build, and we could just spread the light through cracks and flowing magma and the like. And that was really kind of the secret weapon on this thing. We want the terrain to be immersive. So while you're playing on this, we want you to look at it, think through the eyes of your character, your little miniature walking through this terrifying world and knowing that everything around them could kill them. You better get in, do what you need to do, and get out as quickly as possible. We're living a dream, being able to create this stuff, uh, having so many people show up and just give a big thumbs up and say, here's some money, we believe you can make this thing, you're making our game so much better, keep doing it. It's, it's just the best. We're really, we're really lucky to have such unbelievable support and just the greatest backers ever. We thank you guys.